Hey guys, it's Mazarat, and we're back with a uh, 1v1 of the previous map that I uploaded or made a video about, the Gondor Mordor Forces. So, uh, someone's playing as the Defender, and I'm playing as Black, as the um, the Attacker. Um, we also had Brown as well, but I think somewhere along the during the game he disconnected or something. So really, it's just a 1v1 with um, myself versus uh white over here so he started off with uh a few building a few peasants to get um, some farming and you could also chop down some trees here as well um so it's a bit of an obstacle for the peasant he has to walk upstairs up this mountain to collect um wood and actually there's not really much space to do anything so he only has like uh all the production facilities, one of each. So he has a stables, barracks here. He has an archery range up here. So yeah, one of everything. Um, but really, if you look at closely, there's like the farm here that, uh, so the work has to go back upstairs to second level and to the city hall here. So it's not really viable to actually farm off the other one, um, just because the walking distance is too far away. So I'm gonna be bringing some of my Sada units over here to attack his um, the troops that are on this sort of bridge thing here. So this should be more than enough, even though I don't really have that much. Um, so he does. Uh, White does see this force coming, so he just pulls back, and I believe he's just gonna walk all the way back home um, through the safety of his gates here. So. He can walk his units all the way home. So some of them are left behind there. But yeah, he does manage to save uh, about eight units there. And at this point, I'm just gonna be setting up a farm over here somewhere. It's a lot of empty space on this map actually. So yeah. Um, one thing White could do is also sneak off a peasant or a worker and just build his own farm somewhere out in the corner of the map sort of like what I'm doing here uh, just so he could get get a bit more income um, if he wanted to get more food I should say because he doesn't really get that much uh, income from the mines as well he, he's only got like metal mines one metal mine actually so two mines here two mines here so if, oh, actually oh, okay so five mines I think no, it's six mines. Okay, it's really hard to see on the mines in the mountains here. Yeah. All right, so he has six mines. Whereas over here, um, how much do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six as well. Ah, so it is quite even. Um, the other thing is, I do get a lot more wood. I'm a lot easier than um, White does as the defender. So he's building up uh, a few of his. Um, CG units here just to defend the front gate um, let's see what he actually sees here so he does sort of see something happening <laughs> well he sees like through the the, the fog here like the um, units being built so he knows that there's like you know units at his front door so um, yeah, and he's putting a lot of these crossbow uh, ballistas thingies here. So I do start attacking um, some of his units here. So these ballistas outrange uh, the catapults. So that's why you can pretty much start attacking um, some of these archers as well. So yeah, so White does come out to attack here with a bunch of his um, units. And I also have some of my giants here. And he does realize this, so he's going to uh, retreat back. Um, I also have like a tower here to defend, so he's within range and he's getting hit a few times there. Just a bit of, bit of a scuffle and he does reinforce his front door with a tower um, at the front as well. So then I start attacking um, this wall over here, so this is the main entrance to this um, castle. And I still have a bunch of um, balusters to attack his siege units. Just gonna speed it up here. So the wall does collapse, uh, but at this moment I don't actually have 
a big enough army to destroy his uh, units all out in his uh, base here. So I'm just trying to pick off as many units as I can with these balances. He does actually rebuild the wall, so I'll need to destroy it again. So he does uh, come out with a lot of his units there, and a lot of these um, catapults as well, but he does manage to walk back inside the walls, so I can't attack him. So there's about four siege units that uh, my opponent has, um, so I have enough to counter all of his units at the moment. So there's the matter of the tower here. It's quite a lot of um, health as usual, so it's going to take a while to destroy it. Alright, so the tower does finally fall, and I have a few units here to prevent him from building a tower in the same position again, because I'm rather close. So he does have to build it a bit further away. So he's built a lot of uh, soldiers here, and he's bringing out the king as well. So actually the king is pretty much dead now. Uh, didn't really get to see that much action. Yeah, a lot of these units here just uh, does actually destroy a lot of my uh, archers and is going through a lot of my siege units as well. So actually this is a pretty good push by uh, White here, I'm not really paying attention. And a lot of my siege units are pretty much destroyed here, so I need to like rebuild them all again. Um, but yeah, I do have these giants that uh, make him retreat. So I do get like a... Uh, Barracks here to train some infantry, which I should have done for like uh, a while ago now, but I only just did that now. So yeah, there's something weird about this uh, catapult here. This seems to be some sort of bug. Uh, it's not dying, like even though it's getting hit so much by uh, like six of these balluses here. And he's even attacking my units here. So he's got like one HP or something. Uh, yeah, something pretty weird with this. But yeah, I just decided to ignore it and I'm um, just trying to take down this wall and um, kill off some of these units here at the back so with my nine balluses should be able to take out a few of these uh, units for free and uh, White does figure out what's happening, he does pull back here um, so the wall is once again um, destroyed but I don't have that much infantry to rush in so uh, my opponent here does build up another tower and this uh, catapult here is still doing some <laughs> weird things it's like trying to attack the air here so anything that comes in range it seems to attack but here we go another fight and we are going to be attacking the siege units here with a few infantry that are um, coming in to attack for me and uh, white's units are also coming in as well. He has a lot of infantry coming in so um, he should be able to clean up my forces quite, very easily. Um, however, I do still have a few of these um, balusters to attack and a few units to reinforce as well. So his actual forces are actually getting destroyed now. Um, overextended a bit there. This catapult is still alive. Still attacking my units. So I bring in my giants now, and um, this is when I actually make a big break into the castle. Um, I should really rally my barracks to just get my guys directly in. Um, so now my siege units are finally walking through. Um, my opponent he still has a few units just standing around, um, which he could have used, like it's a random guy here. A giant does die, um, the second giant is still, he's like half dead right now. I'm not sure where he's going. He's taking a long route here. He's gonna be killed off very soon, I think. I don't know, he's just, he's just soloing here. And I'm just gonna speed things up now. Game is about to finish very soon. But yeah, um, I think I had a bit of an advantage just because I played this map before. But um, yeah, props to my opponent who played and uh, defended 
better than the bots, so yeah, it's a um, much more challenging game, especially if uh, he built up more, like maybe if we just waited a bit and built up more units to uh, before we attacked and stuff like that. Opponent's just trying to hang on here. Doesn't really have that much um, left, so yeah, I'm just gonna wait and destroy the last couple of towers. We still got the stable, the town hall, and yeah, these are the main buildings. That's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this game, which features human players. And remember, if you enjoy this video and would like to see more Siege Up content, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.